Assalamu alaikum. This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org slash donate. As little as $10 a month can help people find life-changing guidance. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Is it permissible to use the aid of memorization tricks such as image association? For example, with something like wuhush, wild animals, one would use an image of a wild animal doing wushu, so that kind of, or doing, uh, or creating storylines for, to link the verses that don't necessarily uh, line up with the meaning of the verses. So using memorization tricks, um, one of the, I mean, in general, the thing to look at is that is this appropriate and respectful? Appropriate and respectful. So something, some memorization tricks may not be um, suitable, right? So to turn it into like a cartoon or to think that fundamentally change the meaning or whatever. Right? So the, the story of Sayyidina Yusuf, so you say, dog ate the cat, which ate the rat. But no, it's, it's, you're talking about, you're a respected figure. That's, of course, not appropriate. Because what does the dog, cat, and rat have to do with anything? Right? Uh, so that's inappropriate. Um, practically, the, the Qur'an has been memorized by people beyond count. Even now, you know, there's some estimates that within the ummah, there are millions of people who have memorized the Qur'an, literally. That's an amazing fact. That they Just consider, we have 1.7 billion Muslims. Estimates vary what percentage of the ummah has memorized the Qur'an. But it's well into the millions, possibly the tens of millions of people who have memorized the Qur'an right now, who are alive and walking on earth. And there's ways that they've memorized the Qur'an. Practically, one of the most beneficial things, and the way the Qur'an has come to us, is memorize the Qur'an under a teacher. Right? That gives you discipline, number one. Number two, seek a teacher whose adab and akhlaq, whose manners and conduct and character, you will benefit from. Right? Because ultimately, the Qur'an has, came, has come not, not just to be recited, but to be followed, lived, and embodied. So, that is the benefit of learning the Qur'an with a teacher. Someone one can look up to, they can be like a, a big brother, a big sister, a teacher one looks up to, one is impressed by their good character, their manners, their approach to life, so one benefits from that. And that's a critical element of our religion. And that's far more beneficial than just having an app that repeats the same verse 200 times for you. And it's also, you know, you know when it's very easy to get lost in one's own mistake. Because the nature of the, the human mind is that you, you become veiled from your own mistakes. Whereas if you go to someone... Yeah, they, they'll, they'll notice the mistakes that you didn't realize that you were making. Right? So that's my advice, is that learn the Qur'an with, with a teacher. It's far more beneficial. And they, they have methods for memorizing. It is, you know, there's merit and benefit in adopting those systems. With that, there's nothing wrong with using the support of technology, but don't have the technology... Substitute for that in-person learning. Wallahu a'lam. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.